In this video, we will take a look at the flexible lifecycle management of virtual machines by showcasing the ability for Cohesity to perform a failover to cloud and then fail back the VM running in the cloud back to on-premises. In part one of the video, we will showcase how to fail over a virtual machine from on-premises to the cloud. First, on the on-premises side, let's log in to the Windows machine that we will fail over to the cloud. Create a text file so that there is a visual proof of recovery of this particular VM on the cloud. Set up a replication between your Cohesity on-premises and the cloud edition. Then create a protection job on the Cohesity on-premises cluster. Let's protect the Windows VM asset by choosing the source, selecting that VM from the hypervisor, and ensure the correct policy is chosen and cloud migration is enabled. Click Protect and wait for the job to complete. Once the protection job completes, log into the Cohesity Cloud Edition and click on Failover associated to the job, and then click on Continue to Clone, which will trigger the clone workflow. Here, this workflow allows you to customize and personalize the virtual machine that will be failed over to the cloud. You can get specific in terms of the resource groups, the compute factors, the storage account, the app object storage container, as well as some of the networking options like virtual network and which subnet you want the virtual machine to reside in and have control on the power state of the virtual machine. Once you click Finish, the VM is seamlessly converted from the hypervisor VM format to the cloud-specific format in a matter of minutes. Once the process is successful, you can connect to the VM via remote desktop, which we will do now. Notice that the file that we had created on premise has been successfully recovered and the virtual machine has been recovered as well. In the part two of this video, we will look at how we can fail back a virtual machine that is running on the cloud back to on premises. Again, for demo purposes, let's create a new text file so that we have a visual proof of the failback process working. Similar to the first part of the video, ensure that the policy has been set up that has a replication relationship between the cloud Cohesity cluster and the on-premise Cohesity cluster. Once that is complete, create a protection job. Now we choose the source as your cloud infrastructure. Then we search and select the Windows VM where we have created and stored the new text file. We add that to the protection policy we ensure that the policy that has a replication relationship to the on-premises is set up and then we click protect. Now the protection job that's back to on-premises has been created. Now we have to wait for this protection job to complete and this includes a backup process to the cloud natively as well as a replication of the data to on-premise. Once we get closer to it and see the success message, this signifies that the data has been moved to on-premises. Now, let's switch back to the on-premises cluster. We see that the replication from the cloud is done. And now, to trigger a failback, click on the job and the failover button to the right. In this case, we choose our local hypervisor as the source. 
and then we basically choose the failover and continue the recovery button again this will bring us to the clone workflow which allows us to personalize the virtual machine in terms of where we want it from a storage networking and a power state of the virtual machine once we click finish this should trigger the failback process and it should take only a few minutes for the process to give you back the virtual machine once it's completed you can log back into the virtual machine and continue using it as it were in the cloud